Hey, 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 what's up, Crypto Maniacs? This is Jeff once again, also known as the Crypto Nomad. And this is another edition of Crypto News. So things are looking good right now in the crypto verse. As you what we have seen right here, Bitcoin has an increase of 11.16% as of today. So last night it was uh, around uh, 6,600 or something. Wow, it's it's amazing. As you as what we have seen here the chart, you can see that um, it gains around twenty billion US dollars in just thirty minutes. Wow, this is a uh, freaking amazing, you know. So it's a good gain, and possibly it could uh, reach eight thousand this week. Hopefully, <laughs> so I wish I wish uh, they could go back to that uh, to that stage. And it will go all the way up. You know, things are are looking good right now in the crypto market. And also Ethereum from four hundred sixty and now has surpassed the five hundred dollar mark. And almost all of the coins and tokens are right here are are in green mode. Okay. Whoops, sorry for teether. <laughs> Alright. So So that's what we've seen here. There are new tokens on the market that were being added in coin market cap so let's check right here on the trending recently added okay wow um i am a spade holder so uh for those of you who are holding spades so congratulations guys for um uh, i mean congratulations to the spade team and the community um if you are a spade holder so this is uh, this is one of the best days that uh, you will ever see right now because even if the price is not what you've been expecting, of course, um, it's now on coin market cap and with a volume of 302,886 as of today. And also, I, I'm holding T game as well. Not much, it's coming from the airdrop, so it's around two cents. Okay, and the others as well, right here. Okay. So, oh, I want to mention a special mention for Litecoin. Wow, it's also gaining from 0.006 um, to 0.008. So, this is a good sign as well. All right. And also, we would like to check the uh, gas station on if it's uh, still congested or not. And, of course, things are also looking good right here in Ethereum network so it goes back to normal so let's try to refresh a bit okay so you can see right here so it's looking good guys so um the uh, ethereum network has gone back to normal so for if let's say if you are an ico or or uh, a company with, with dust crowd sale or token sale and if you want to distribute tokens to your airdrop or bounty participants, so so now's the good time, guys, because um, you can see right here the standard is only at four GUA, and fast is around five. Okay, so since I am still um, obliged to distribute uh, tokens for MetaMark participants, so yep, it's a so it's now it's a good time for me to distribute. So good news to all uh, Metamorph Bounty uh, participants out there. So we will be continuing uh, the distribution of tokens, okay? So let's try to see uh, what are those signs that made Bitcoin rise its value, okay? So you can see, oops, uh, sorry. According to Coindesk, so you can see the three signs in which Bitcoins move above 7K might just hold. So tool number one, you can see the 55 uh, exponential moving averages, which was surpassed right here. But you can see in the chart. So, so as what it says here, after the 55 EMA dropped below the price, greater bearish trend in the short for two months, and of course the first time in a month that the red 55 EMA passed under the current price, presenting bull bias right here uh, sorry for the dog barking outside our neighborhood <laughs> as you can see right here 
They act like signals that provide crucial insights into the asking bid as well as the momentum behind each major move. And they can be used to confirm or deny a trend change by analyzing the position of the EMA in relation to the current price. So the longer EMA, the more significant the move is and it has more data points to collect from and a greater range of price history. So you can see right here all the information. And also tool number two is Fibonacci extensions and retracements. So you can see right here the lines. And also the trading volume as well. So you can read it right here on Coindesk, okay? So these are some of the factors that could that will be the reason that Bitcoin's price has risen again. Okay. So, so you can see right here above, we see how volume for Bitcoin reached a three month high yesterday, almost doubling the day prior. So, okay, uh, since the market is so unpredictable, um, it's, it's kind of interesting for me to see you know, where it will go in the next few weeks. Okay. And of course, right here on news BTC. So you can see the price watch, which is uh, confirmed that bullish pattern was already commenced. Okay, so the key highlights of the Bitcoin price is that it finally broke above the neckline of its inverse head and shoulders pattern to signal that a rally is underway. So yeah, this is a good sign uh, for those of you who are in uh, who, uh, who have hold holding or investing in bitcoins you know and also other uh, cryptocurrencies and also the chart pattern is around one thousand dollars tall so the uptrend has room to go but a pullback might take place so it's so it's kind of potential but still very interesting and there are technical indi indicators are showing mixed signals while sentiment favors more bitcoin price gains so so it made a strong upside break for the neckline of its inverse head and shoulders pattern. So you can see the technical indi indicator signals right here. So the 100 SMA just crossed above the longer term 200 SMA to indicate that the path of the least resistance is to the upside. And this confirms that the reversal is more likely to gain traction than to retreat. So wow, um, this is very interesting and you can see the chart pattern spans 5,800 to 6,800. So the resulting uptrend could be the same size. Wow. So it would be enough to take the price of 7, 8. So it's not too late to join the rally. So wow. Um, so guys, um, this is now a good time for us to um, join the rally. But it's totally up to you. And you can see the market pack factors right here. So the recent run is being attributed to the pickup its institutional interest after it was reported that hedge funds are looking to invest in the space. In particular, confirmation from BlackRock CEO that the world's largest asset manager formed a team to look at crypto investment through traders back to Bitcoin. Wow. So, so with this, maybe it uh, contributed to the growth of the Bitcoin price. Okay. And... Also, it's worth noting that the U.S. dollar also had a good run in recent sessions, but proved no match to Bitcoin strength. So the risk appetite popped back in the U.S. session and investor confidence may have also contributed to Bitcoin price gains. And also, yes, South Korea, guys, is, uh, you know, they are, they are so uh, addicted and they, they are hardcore uh, cryptocurrency investors and traders. So the good news is that there are positive views of the regulatory regulatory moves in South Korea and also being lauded for shoring up the legitimacy of the cryptocurrency market. So, so yeah, um, once, once, it, once, uh, once the government of the South Korea has, um, made a pop, uh, made something that could, uh, made the, uh, cryptocurrency, uh, community, uh, proud in South Korea, of course, um, there is no doubt, guys, that these South Korea, uh, South Korean investors and traders, uh, they could be, um, they could be uh, uh, contributing to a high, to a high volume of, uh, of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency trading. Okay, so it's my opinion. And of course, guys, you can see right here. 
you can see right here, it adds 20 billion in 30 minutes as Bitcoin price above 7,400. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. So you can see right here, it's a surge 10% over the past 30 minutes subsequent to experiencing a substantial spike in its value. So you can see in a one hour period the price of Bitcoin and the other ones increased by 6 to 10%. You can see right here in the chart. Okay. So in just 30 minutes, the market adds 20 billion. So an unexpected corrective rally occurred in the evening of July 17th, pushing the price of major digital assets to spike by large margins. And of course, Bitcoin and EOS have been the best performance out of the major cryptocurrencies, rising by nearly 10% in a short period of time. Okay, so um, this is um, this is actually good news. So you can see the last time BTC spiked by a margin as big as today's rally was April 9th, when the price of BTC surged from $6,900 to $8,000 within 13 minutes wow and ultimate ultimately the rally from six nine to eight led the price of btc to test ten thousand dollars yeah of course unfortunately i still remember that due to warren buffet statements and other ones out there it was bashed the uh, bitcoin especially jack ma and um and bill gates of course who was known to have Bitcoin before, but he sold it. Uh, it pulled back, you know, it pulled the price pulled back. And you can see right here, if the price of Bitcoin surpasses the $8,000 mark, it may be able to replicate the same movement it experienced in April 9th and potentially test the $10,000 support level. So, yep, um, hopefully it will come. But again, if Warren Buffet is going to see this price again, you will, you will unleash a statement again and maybe it will go down but uh, yeah we don't know but you know i think the market would be less affected right now so if bitcoin remains stable in the 74 region bitcoin could try to reach major support levels between eight to nine in the upcoming week so this is interesting guys and you can see they have a strong volume momentum building right here so Throughout July, the issue with the crypto market was its low volume, and despite the optimistic momentum indicators and positive signals of the relative strength index or the RSI, the momentum average convergence divergence of Bitcoin, the low volume of the crypto exchange market this allowed a rally from being initiated. But you no, know, but as of now, I think things are looking good. So you can see right here. Previously, David Solomon, the newly appointed Goldman Sachs CEO admitted for the first time that Goldman Sachs is preparing to launch a proper cryptocurrency trading platform. So he's, so this is a statement, guys. And I quote, We are clearing some futures about around Bitcoin, talking about doing some other activities there. But it's going very cautiously. We're listening to our clients and trying to help our clients as they're exploring those things too. So Goldman Sachs must evolve its business and adapt to the environment. Okay? So, okay, guys, we'll be looking forward to this. And another news that I will, that makes me kind of interested right now is this one. So the MasterCard has a new patent that could allow Bitcoin transactions on credit cards. Wow. So for those of you who have, uh, who have MasterCard, so I think this is a must read for you. So you can see right here, MasterCard introduces a patent to manage fractional reserves of blockchain currency. So while no products have been brought to the market, the technology can speed up the blockchain transactions. And also the Bitcoin bull, Tom Lee says, this is good news as it validates cryptocurrency as a form of transaction. And oh, by the way, uh, if, you, uh, if you're aware, last July 14th, um, the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, uh, I, I mean, that they, uh, uh, they, are they are stating that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other decentralized cryptocurrencies are not classified as security. So this is very good news uh, for all of us in the crypto community. And you can see right here, on Tuesday, MasterCard won a patent to protect a method that would manage fractional reserves of blockchain currency. So you can read it right here on CNBC, 
Okay. Uh, and also, um, finally, finally, um, before I would like to end this video, uh, this is um, also an interesting news. So if you're if you're a fan of NAM or you're a NAM holder or you're supporting the NAM blockchain, so you can see right here, um, the NAM blockchain to conserve the integrity of the sports industry. So wow, this is uh, something amazing. So on the seventeenth of July, the NAM Foundation and Twitter posted that the announcement that the blockchain technology startup Ingate is going to launch a live video entertainment platform for the sports community in September using NAMS blockchain technology. Yeah, the NAMS technology is, is for me it's superior guys. It's it's way superior. But you know at once NAM is massively adopted, there's no doubt that its value could rise, you know. And to continue, Engate provides blockchain support in software development and consulting services for ICT or what we call the information and communications technology implementation. So this is their tweet. And of course, the launch of this platform will work in favor of both the community, sports, and cryptocurrency. So it will incentivize token economies to build meaningful connections with the active community members. And it will include both athletes and fans alike. And you can see right here a, a message from a sports leader and the owner of the Tokushima Indigo Sox baseball team, Kenji Arai. So he said, and I quote, We expect Engage Service to introduce a new solution to the financial challenges that promising athletes face. We welcome bringing a new entertainment experience to the sports world because it enables fans to enjoy moments along with teams and athletes via edgy technology. So... Now, this is an opportunity for you know to fans to connect with the team and app to connect uh and have a moment with um with their favorite teams and athletes with this state of the art technology in which they will be using the NAM blockchain. So wow, good job guys for choosing NAM. And you can see right here it was all explained the concept of tipping. So that's what we have seen here. Mr. Jun Yamaguchi, the president of Rain is sent to the ladies' soccer club in the context of involvement of women in sports stated, and I quote, As women's soccer is still a niche sport, we are keen to live in things up with the fans. We are looking forward to joining Engage's new initiative and expect this to be a great opportunity for bringing women's soccer to the next stage of expansion. And of course, there will be more uh, sports organiza organizations, teams, and athletes will be a uh, using this one later on okay so i'm looking forward to the future of engage by using the nem technology okay so i so guys so this is all for now i hope you i hope you guys find this um news updates very helpful right now so so that's what we have seen here uh, we are looking forward for the the for the market to rise once again you know i know i know you guys um want to uh i know we had this kind of feeling like hopefully we would go back to 2017 because of bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies of uh, they have rallied you know a bit as 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 what we know right here um bitcoin uh bitcoin's uh all-time uh high was around nineteen thousand five hundred dollars so so there's one analyst right there who predicts that that's uh that Bitcoin could reach fifty thousand this year. So that is a um that is a bold prediction. Well, for me, yep, I know uh, anything is possible, but let's try to be realistic, you know. But you know, uh, Bitcoin is still. I know that Bitcoin is still a decade old, but you know, they're still yet to be massively adopted. So, for me, once it goes massive adoption, uh, there's no doubt, guys, that Bitcoin's price would spike even higher, you know. You know, I, you know, for me, I hope that Bitcoin's price would um, reach at least, uh, you know, twenty thousand dollars or even more than that. You know, I would like to see Bitcoin uh, reach fifty thousand, but you know, for for realistic purposes, um, if I want to, if I want to be realistic, I think it would be between with eighteen to twenty or twenty plus. Okay, 
So I hope you find this uh, video very helpful. You know, I hope you have learned something on the crypto market. So guys, thank you so much for taking your time uh, to watch this video. So if you think that this video is helpful for you and your crypto friends, uh, guys, uh, just don't hesitate or think twice to share this, okay? Share this to your friends, especially those who are into cryptocurrency. And guys, if you are not a subscriber yet of my YouTube channel, and if you want to stay updated with my latest videos about cryptocurrency, just click the subscribe button, okay? So, uh, once again, uh, thank you so much. This is all for now. My name is Jeff, also known as the Crypto Nomad, and I'm signing off. Bye-bye.